Grigor, congratulations. Through to the quarterfinals, and you came from a breakdown in both sets tonight. How do you feel coming through that match? Oh, very pleased that I, that I was able to finish in straight sets. Uh, the opponent is an absolutely unbelievable competitor, honestly. That every time I think we played quite a few times against each other already. I played him this year in Cincinnati. Uh, I mean, every time we played was absolutely stunning. I would like to say, I, I mean, he's, he's a great guy. I love practicing with him. I love competing against him. So. So that was great, but I really needed that match. I thought I haven't competed for three and a half weeks since the Open. I didn't know what to expect much. I mean, the courts here are pretty fast. I mean, at night was actually pretty slow today, but overall they were, they were pretty fast. They, they were suiting, I think, his game quite a little bit, um, especially early on the match. He was, he was hitting pretty much everything with, with the great depth. And, um, and yeah, I just had to kind of find a way today. That was, that was the only thing. I, I fought really hard, lowered my expectations, stayed positive. And yeah, it was great that, that ended up in a good nod. And you mentioned you played him in Cincinnati and you beat him. That was the first time you beat him. And now it's two in a row after five losses. So have you changed the way that you've approached matches against Delpo? I sure hope so. I think I've, uh, since then, I've, I think I've grown as a player. And this, uh, I'm sure it's not going to be our last match. <laughs> uh, I think um, we kind of both look into playing against each other. Even on practice the other day, we knew that we we're going to potentially play against each other, and we were like, okay, let's do it again. So it was, uh, I, like, I like when you get that uh, you know, face to face interaction with another, with another player. But um, again, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of a competitor that can beat, of course, anybody. He's proven himself, uh, won quite a few titles, won a slam. So, so yeah, there's, there's not. There's only going to be any free beats against him, so I had to kind of work, work, and only work today. That <laughs> I think that that was it. I didn't play. I didn't think I played my best tennis, but it's it feels awesome to win on days like that. And finally, you've got Batista Agut next. He's spent relatively not very much time on court, but do you think that will favour you spending more time on court, being more match ready? Well, I don't know. I think. I, I really wanted to spend some time on a court, so <laughs> I think I've done my due for that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I didn't get a chance to see much of his match today. Uh, I just heard it was pretty breezy, so to speak. But uh, dangerous opponent, of course. You, you, you don't have to underestimate any of the guys that are in the draw here. I mean, you see first and second matches already, uh, you know, against a quality player. So I need, to, I need to look after my side of the net, I think, right now and, and really focus on that. Thanks, Krigo. Thank Good you. luck in the Thank course. You.